Carol, thank you very much for joining us today. If you could introduce yourself uh, for those who don't might not know you. Sure. I'm Carol Hamilton. I'm the SVP for Global Solutions at Proveneer. And I recently joined to help us take um, our offering to the next level and making sure that we are really enabling our customers to make the best decisions across fraud, identity and credit. Perfect. Uh, so I think this is the next question is perfect for you, uh, which is, can you tell us why you think Provenir has been successful? Sure. I think that the way consumers around the world are actually interacting with financial services products and even their expectations is changing. Um, they're wanting so much more to be instant, more personalized and automated. They're looking for those intelligent digital financial services, which requires deeper insights really from more data sources than have traditionally been used to make sure that the right decisions are being made about how organizations are interacting with them. And so where we are able to fit into that is that we offer really something very unique, which is a unified approach of bringing not just the actual decisioning technology uh, in a no code platform, allowing people to have the ultimate control as to how they make those decisions, but also the data um, that's powering those decisions. And so when combined then with AI to make that decision as, as accurate and uh, great and fast as possible, that really lends itself to that organization being able to provide world-class experiences. Perfect. Thank you. So you spoke about the AI part of Provenir. So what is the, uh, could you please tell us about Provenir's uh, latest innovations? Sure. Well, actually, AI is something we've very much invested in over the last couple of years. And we, we really sort of relaunched um, a couple of months ago um, at the start of uh, 2022 are uh, decisioning really with with more AI than before to make that decision that's being made so much more accurate. You know, AI is helping to make the most out of the data in not just a supervised way where we're sort of telling it what to go out to find, but also in an unsupervised way to ensure that organisations aren't missing anything um, when they're when they're enabling and facilitating that decision. And also the way that we've actually built sort of our AI offering integrated um, and powering that decision is in a way that is our attempt to lower the really the barriers to entry that we've seen before. You know, very recently we conducted a survey with 400 respondents in this sort of space, decision makers that found that so many of them, I think around sort of just under a quarter, were struggling to get any return or the uh, sort of um, their expectations weren't being met in the first few months of any AI project that they'd invested in, which is really disappointing. But it's very common to see how these AI initiatives just somehow um, from time to time can't get off the ground. So what we've tried to do when we've created our AI offering is to make it market leading and enable the entire market to embrace it. So especially those who haven't been able to, you know, get value from it before, we're trying to shrink the cost of that, the complexity, the types of resources that are required and really just speeding up that time to market to help customers leverage it more quickly and easily. Uh, would you also be able to talk about uh, the financial inclusion in that area? Sure. So uh, the role of AI then in, in these things is, is critical. Um, to make any decision, you need the right data, you know, to inform your own brain when you're making your own decisions. And so with the wealth of data available out in the market to make these decisions, and there is a lot of useful data out there, but, but there's also a lot of it, which means you have to know how to use it and what to use in the right way, which is where AI really starts to um, really add, add the value. Um, so it makes it makes it easier to extract the intelligence um, from that data. Um, and that very much, as you say, plays into the inclusion piece because where either the, the, the right data wasn't used before or wasn't known how to use that data properly, actually AI can absolutely help to make decisions about people who perhaps were excluded um, and not offered financial services products before for no bad reason other than that an organization might not have known anything about them, therefore, it was a, an unknown quantified risk. Um, and so it, it does help to lend to that um, more inclusive approach, which allows organizations to really truly understand who they're doing business with, who's there at the front door trying to get a product and therefore include more customers or more potential customers than ever before. 
Thank you very much. That's brilliant. Um, would you be able to share any recent announcements or developments at Prevenir? Sure, a couple. Um, so firstly, we have um, very much boosted our partner ecosystem. When we talked a second ago around AI and the value that plays in the decision making, um, it's really the data that's that sat there to be leveraged by the AI. So if you don't have the, the right data, then um, you can't really do much. <laughs> the brain can't work without the information that it's fed. Um, and actually, um, what we've really done, um, sort of our, one of the more interesting developments around that partner ecosystem, ecosystem that we have established is that we've um, started to create really um, an end-to-end -end offering that helps to complete the most accurate fraud identity and credit decision. And that's now actually leveraging data that traditionally might not have been used. So more alternative data, we'd say, um, because the value of that is incredible. You know, let's say you're trying to take out a credit product the information I put in that application for that credit product might be interesting enough, you know, the, the, the data that I enter as a consumer. But actually, wouldn't it be great if we could check if I've been paying a phone contract before very regularly? Wouldn't it be great if I could find out some intelligence about that phone or the device? Um, and wouldn't it be great to see something about other personal attributes I have? written in that application, such as the email. How old is that email? Was it set up just yesterday for the purpose of doing this application? Um, so there are lots of ways that we can use that alternative data to get the value from it to make that really good decision. And so we've embraced the power of that alternative data. And so we've very, very quickly grown our partner ecosystem that allows us to in that decision, bring that data to the table in an integrated way as part of that decision to supplement what an organization has and just make that decision as, as good as it can be. So I'd say that's definitely one, the expansion of our uh, partner ecosystem, our you know, AI powered risk decisioning to its clients. So with their great data and our great technology, this really allows um, a strengthening and a deepening of our existing relationship with TransUnion, but also the fact that their customers now will be able to take advantage of our you know, market leading platform in about 50 countries worldwide. So we're very pleased with that and very happy with how that partnership's going. Um, the third one is around our general global expansion. We have um, really moved into several new markets over the last 12 months um, with vigor. And we've actually hired um, at a rapid rate to put people on the ground as well. Um, clearly post COVID, everyone's still very much comfortable in their homes working, but we are getting out and about a little bit more now to see our customers and potential customers, which is great. And so having people in the region, not just for travel, but their knowledge of that, you know, the requirements there and the culture and the language is, is so important. So we've really diversified our workforce as well to, to meet that expansion and make it as effective as we can. Um, and that now brings the total number of countries we serve to nearly 50. So we're, we're very pleased with how that's all going. That, that's amazing to hear. It's, it's... You spoke about the the benefits to the clients as well as uh, helping um, uh, through other companies. Um, so my next question is links to that, which is: Would you be able to share some specific examples of how Prevenir solutions have uh, had a positive impact on on the clients? Sure. Well, we're very proud that we are working with really the biggest disruptors in the industry. Um, and, you know, we work with um, financial services providers, both small and early fintech startups through to, you know, big tier ones. And in fact, um, I'll give a couple of examples of some of our customers and what we're doing with them. Um, so the first one I'll tell you about, actually little known back when we started with them, but now very much a, a household name, which is Klarna, um, who provide buy now, pay later um, as a as their core offering, but they're obviously expanding into sort of other service areas. We work with them in Europe and North America, and we helped them with their multi-country rollout to get to where they've got to today. We facilitate their real-time risk decisioning for Know Your Customer, KYC, and credit. And I think we we process around 2 million transactions for them per day. Um, and so we've very much helped them um, grow, and we've, we've grown with them, which is fantastic. Uh, we also work with a similar provider, uh, slightly younger, Zilch, uh, another buy now, pay later, we work with them in the UK and the US, and they are also actually expanding and, and starting to think about different countries that they all work in. We work with them on really a holistic risk decisioning offering and 
you know, our focus is to help them um, have that fast speed to market and accelerate their innovation. Um, we've helped them increase their acceptance rates and sort of reduce those abandoned decisions, which is great. And we've augmented data um, with, uh, with the decisioning to help make that as, as great as it can be and as accurate as it can be. Another one I'll mention, a um, couple more towards Western me, uh, towards the Americas. We work with FlexiPlan, um, who are a motorcycle financing. Again, started very small, have had a great run, a great success story. We work with them on, digital. well, they digitalize their credit approvals and we do the risk, risk decisioning for them with that. And again, it's our partnership that has allowed them to rapidly expand geographically. And they've seen great gains in their credit approvals. And I think over sort of, 40% business growth overall. So a really great, a really great story there. And the final one I'll mention, again, another big name that people now recognize is SoFi in the States. They provide, you know, financial services across several different product lines and they were suffering with legacy silo challenges how to make those decisions um you know with with sort of inherited um and legacy issues but we now work with them on their risk decisioning for a multitude of offerings their, their lending but also traditional bank accounts and mortgages as well as some other financial services products and again similar story we've helped them to rapidly expand their product portfolio with with the agility that our solution brings um, and in fact i think there's there's a quote somewhere online floating around but it's around how we help them to i think innovate faster um, than their competitors so we're really proud of that you know helping people uh, fastly innovate we, we're very proud of that so i think that's why they chose us that's amazing to hear and then a really nice quote as well um so we spoke about the current uh solutions and current um uh, benefits of Provenir. Uh, next question is about more, more towards future. So what can we hope to see from Provenir in the future and what is the outlook for tech and the wide industry events? Sure. Uh, well, I mentioned one of the sort of recent things we've been working on is building out our um, partner ecosystem to allow our customers to benefit from that booming data and intelligence ecosystem. Well, in the future and very much now and moving forward, we are continuing to expand that. It's being um, very much embraced by our, our existing and prospect customers. And to sort of focus on what that is, it really is almost a sing it's a single API approach that we have. So through that single API to Provenir, our customers can take advantage of, you know, a multitude of um, data partners, uh, you know, more than 500 sort of data combinations um, that we can provide um, to really provide the right data to make the right decision based on the business challenge. And with that, I guess the customers really are enjoying that because we're removing all the headache for them for building those integrations that they would have themselves built to the data partners and, and also maintaining them. You know, there's a lot of work in that. Um, whereas we, we do that for the customers and then through that single interface, they can reap the benefits of, of that data and, and interact with it in, in just a more easy way, testing it to see the value of it and, and adopting it very quickly and uh, deploying that. So that's one of the things that uh, we're continuing to do lots of. Um, and another thing, actually very close to what my team's doing specifically, I was brought in to look after global solutions. And what we wanted to do was really build on the success we've had working with customers on certain types of decisions to, to en enrich our offering with, with more value. So more data and also more sort of IP rich solutions, more know-how built into what we're delivering to help people really get to market even faster than before. Um, you know, we've done pretty well to get people up and running in in just sort of well often several weeks really just to a few months but we want to be able to with that bring more of that know-how that we've experienced and and uh, learned from working with all sorts of global customers to help understand that helps us understand really what's right to meet the needs of specific sort of customer challenges. Carol thank you very much for your time it was a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you so much.